Hello everyone, I'm Chris Ericle reporting for the Press Enterprise and PE.com. At a city council meeting on Tuesday evening, the Riverside City Council voted to sell the land under the Mount Rubido Cross. I'm joined now by Press Enterprise Alicia Robinson. Alicia, kind of explain the council's uh, strategy and decision-making process here tonight. Well, what happened was the city received a letter last year from the group Americans United for Separation of Church and State. And in their letter, they argued that having a cross on Mount Rubidoux, which is public land, is a violation of the Constitution's First Amendment Establishment Clause. So the council was weighing their options, and one of the things that's been done in some of these cases is to sell a piece of property with the cross on it at, at some sort of an open public bid where anyone can participate, whether they want the cross to stay there or not, and then once the land becomes private, the private owner can do whatever they want with the cross. Um, another option was which a lot of people actually were urging the council to follow was to wait and see if a lawsuit w would be filed um, either by Americans United for Separation of Church and State or some other group, and then to defend that lawsuit in court. Uh, the big concern that the council had with that was that they were told it would cost anywhere from a million to two million dollars potentially if they were to go to court, lose the case, and have to pay the other side's legal fees. Now it's believed that the auction will take place in about 60 days with a minimum bid of about ten thousand uh, dollars. So far, only people believed to be interested in making bids are those that are interested in uh, keeping the cross where it is. Uh, is that, that is the belief of the city council? Well, now the council was very cautious to make sure that they were not setting up the sale in such a way that it would give the idea that they were giving preference to anyone based on what they wanted to do with the cross. Because once again, that would sort of be trying to get around the whole reason for them putting it up for sale in the first place. So far, the only uh, groups that I'm aware of that have come out publicly and said that they're interested in purchasing it is a coalition of community groups who did say that they want to maintain the cross. Now, um, anybody could bid, then the city council has set the minimum bid at $10,000 because that is what they expect to cover their costs for putting on the sale. Now, if, uh, obviously, if someone in support of the cross makes the bid and acquires it, is that the end of the road for the argument here, or could there be more? Well, now, if the cross were sold to a private owner, um, basically the council has set some conditions on the sale. They would require the new owner to keep the land open to the public, and then, but also to... Um, put up signs that clearly denote that the property where the cross stands is not public, um, but there would not really be the constitutional issue that there could be now because the whole concern in the first place that was raised by Americans United is the fact that the cross was on public land, which they believe uh, appears to be the government um, promoting religion. So if it's privately owned, you can do whatever you want on your own land. For example, lots of churches have crosses on them, and those are not challenged because they're on land owned by the churches. All right, Alicia, thanks for joining us. That does it for our update on the sale of the Mount Rubidoux Cross. Be sure to stay tuned right here on PE.com for the latest on this story.